Higgins, who was franchise tag, today has now requested a trade. This coming two weeks after the tag, you see the numbers there that he's receiving on the tag. Uh, with mid-July being a deadline for a long-term deal. Uh, Mina Kimes with us. Mina, I know you have a couple of suitors that you think could be possible or maybe desirable when it comes to dealing Higgins. So what are your thoughts in this regard? Yeah, um, it's tricky with Higgins because you're not just trading for him, you're trading for him and extending him once you do at, at, at assumingly assuming a lot of money, which is why Cincinnati can't afford to pay him. So the cost of acquisition is higher than some of the free agents, not that there are any free, free agents of his caliber left. Um, so to that end, I think, you know, I would look at teams wh who are maybe picking either near the end of the first round, beginning of yeah. the second. Uh, two teams that I really like in that regard are New England and Carolina. Um, you know, both teams with young quarterbacks, assuming New England spends that first tick, pick on a rookie quarterback who would be very helped by having T. Higgins as their number one wide receiver. Teams that could draft a wide receiver with those picks, but I feel like because of the age of the quarterbacks and the build of the roster and the fact that they both have cap space, they make sense as destinations for a receiver who's already proved that he can be a number one in the NFL. <laughs>